Dumb Vibes is here to entertain you. After all the social media ranting that advocate Malesela Tefo has definitely taken back the Senzo Meiwa case, it is just so unfortunate that on Tuesday he was unable to show up in court to defend himself. All the accusations, he kept blaming and pointing fingers at Kelly Kumalo and even dragged her and accused her of being responsible for claiming the life of Senzo Meiwa and that he has an eyewitness proof. Then, why didn't he show up is what several people ask themselves and I'm here to give you all the entire details. It feels like things are actually getting even more and more interesting and frightening as far as this case is concerned. Do well to watch this video right up to the end. Before I give you all the entire information proper, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. After a dramatic exit made by Malesela Tefo in the last court appearance saying he was resigning over a number of issues, many had anticipated to see him again after he made a U-turn recently stating that he was coming back to represent the four accused to bring down Kelly Kumalo and of course with tangible proofs. To the surprise of many, Advocate Malesela didn't show up in court yesterday and his instructing attorney said he could neither comment on Tefo's behalf nor say why he was not in court yesterday. Tobane, the instructing attorney, however revealed that there is no instruction to reappoint Advocate Malesela Tefo to continue representing the four accused in Senzo Meiwa's trial. This has sparked a lot of controversy and confusion on social media given to the fact that everybody was fully aware of the fact that Advocate Tefo made a U-turn and he was out to actually reveal the entire truth and now he says these things are going south. Tefo had issued a letter regarding his decision to resign and in that letter, he made an avalanche of excuses as to why he was stepping down already. After that, he made some huge demands that Minister of Police Bekihele must be investigated, citing that he was using a lot of powers to suppress other people because he had the opportunity to be up there. He thinks everybody is completely below him, below standard and below the average human, so he uses his power to suppress them. Advocate Malesela Tefo also wants Kelly Kumalo to be prosecuted along with those who were in the house when Senzo Meiwa actually passed on. His absence in court yesterday seems as if he may not be reappointed in this case after several complaints were made concerning his conduct. Critics have slammed Malesela Tefo, arguing that he is making this case about himself and the reason why he should not be reappointed to continue representing the four accused in Senzo Meiwa's case. Of course, they don't want him no more. Several people in the comment section actually scared and of course they believe that the law, the force of law and other, or should I say the culprits behind the entire Senzo Meiwa case are really so scared of Advocate Tefo because they know and they believe that he has some vital information that he can reveal and when it leaks the whole case is going to be dissolved because the culprits are going to be tracked completely. Legal expert Zolo Majavu argues that Tefo will still have to go before Judge Maumela to explain himself if he is by any chance reappointed. He has some apologies to make already. The reason why it might be difficult for Tefo to come back in this Senzo Meiwa case is that when a representative of any party before the court withdraws and the court accepts that withdrawal and they are excused, that is the end of it completely. It is for this reason that Advocate Malesela Tefo contention that he wants to come back may not be considered at all. You all tell me what you think in the comment section. Do you really think that Advocate Tefo deserves to have a comeback?